All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachakwadash, for the spirit to do this lesson. Double honors to the elders and apostles that great millstone who rule well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Shalom to the men of the Lord, prophesying, preaching, and teaching on the highways and byways in sincerity and in truth. Shalom, Barakatham. Uh, you see the article title here. It says U.S. Space Force Chief Scientist. Human augmentation is now necessary. This goes back into Esau having that blessing, man, that blessing of the sword. And part of that sword is just the science. And you think about these pestilences that he can create. Uh, a lot of Jakes think that, you know, when we go into Esau about the sword, he's just talking about uh, an actual sword or just like guns or like military equipment. Well, his, his blessing goes far beyond that because he can weaponize anything. Um, he's even weaponized the U.S. dollar, when you think about it, how he's basically turned economies upside down. He can cause food shortages in particular areas. He, he saw his many ways to inflict pain and death on people that, 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 is, not <clears throat> that is not necessarily a death instrument up front, you know. So a lot of his science is part of that, too, you know, with him wanting to get that MOB inside of you him wanting to rewrite uh the code of your body i should say you know you can't say particular words on youtube but he wants to rewrite you all right that that's a weapon you know robots you know uh again i said pestilences you know destroying the earth killing food supplies you know brainwashing propaganda all of these things uh they they all destroy you all all of these things are weapons that he uses <clears throat> against Jake, the Israelites, who are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And those are his primary targets, but he's even uh, using his own people as collateral damage, you know? Um, so this human augmentation is just another example of that. It says human augmentation is a term used by transhumanists who believe science can control the future evolution of humans. It seeks to create humanity 2.0 or a race of superhumans so advanced that one day that they <clears throat> might achieve immortality and escape death. All right, so he wants the he wants our blessing, the blessing that the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai promised us. He wants to he wants his own version of that, and he wants to and he wants to, to to stomp us out. All right, he wants to snuff out the Israelites, and he wants to, he wants to prevent what the inevitable he wants to prevent the inevitable basically all right this guy is, is is full of pride you know he thinks he he thinks he is the most high we'll get a couple of scriptures so he he purports to be like the most high purports to know everything and he and the most High did grant him a lot of wisdom on the left hand side to do wickedness but ultimately man he doesn't understand anything in the grand scheme of things all right when it comes to when it comes to true science and understanding of what is all right <clears throat> this is uh revelation 18 i'll start at six it says reward her even as she rewarded you and it's talking about babylon the great and that whore right which is basically interchangeable babylon the great we can be uh known as america and uh, that whore is also known as America, the whore of Babylon. It says, uh, and double unto her according to her works, and the cup which she hath filled, filled to her double. All right, so this is what's coming for you, Esau. Everything you've done, the Most High is going to double it on you. And you've done an uh, unimaginable amount <laughs> of evil and wickedness, you know. No man alive can really account all the things that you you've done, the Most High. You know, only the most high through his angels and everything else he knows. And ultimately, we're going to know eventually. And you're going to pay it all back. All right. Double. It says, verse eight, it says, therefore, shall her place come within one day. Oh, Salakia, verse seven. Um, how, is this the main point? How much she hath glorified herself and lived deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her. So that's what's coming for this this transhumanist movement to try to basically destroy you, make you some some cyborg, 
<laughs> you know, as if the Most High's creation is imperfect. It says, for she saith in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow. So you see the level of pride? That it's that pride that makes you think you can you can obtain immortality through your your, your technology using using elements that the most high created. You can't create any elements. All you can do is discover them. You can re you can rework them, you know? You can rearrange them, but you, you you're not a creator of anything. You've deluded yourself into thinking you can be like the most high, and that and that's part of your pride, ultimately. A little bit more. This article says in the last century, Western civilization transformed from an from an industrial based society to an information based society. All right, and the information based society is cutting Esau. All right, <laughs> it, it it said uh in those and I forget where it is in Revelation, but those two prophets, those witnesses. All right, they're consumed. We're consuming you with that fire. It speaks about. All right, and and they said you would hate us for it. And now we're in an information-based society. That word is cutting you, man. It's all over YouTube. They're shutting us down on shutting down pages left and right. More Israelites are waking up more than ever. All right. So th this new society is backfired on you, and now now you want to clamp down, and you want to put everybody in camps and 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 and, and turn people into zombies, basically, put chips in them brainwashed them with propaganda now now you need to uh now you need to you know control control everything now you now you're doing damage control basically it says but today we're on the brink of a new age the age of human augmentation said moser and our business of national defense it's imperative that we embrace this new age lest we fall behind our strategic competitors so everybody's racing to be greater than the other nation and nobody gives a damn about the earth. Nobody gives a damn about the law, statutes, and commandments, the right way to live. They're all trying to further their own enterprise. All right? Not giving one ounce of glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in the process. And the Lord is going to destroy you, man, and it's going to be glorious. And I can't wait. <clears throat> this is Psalms uh, 10. And I'll just get verse six. It says, he had said in his heart, this is referring to the wicked. I shall not be moved for I shall never be in adversity. All right. <laughs> and that's, that's the, that's the thought of this guy. In order for you to think this man, you got to really think that nobody's ever going to challenge you the way you're running around the earth, shitting on people, beating on your chest. There's no way you can really, uh, many, many of you believe in the most high, but you're elites. I know, you know, that the Most High is real, because I know y'all are seeing those chariots. And see, this is the part of the reason why there is a space force to begin with. It, it, it's like you know, but but your pride won't let you, <laughs> you know, your, your pride won't let you make a reasonable decision, which is to repent. It's not in you to do so. All right? For someone to have a coup too. Now we know... uh Isaiah 14 is the last precept. Uh, this is a real quick. Um, it says, uh, Isaiah 14 and 3 says, For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of the Most High. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. All right. And Esau is, is basically the ruler of the north. You know. Usually when it's talking about the North country, it's talking about that NATO, the EU, Europe, the West, America, you know. And Esau is ruling that right now. And so he's he's sitting, he's sitting pretty right now because this is his kingdom. But his his kingdom is so sad now, man. You walk around and see the, the, the how stupid people are. You know, like the murf the murf that they have is just on such a low level and these people don't know anything they don't they don't critically think about anything they just do whatever they're told you know they're distracted they're fat lazy you know all they care about is me 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 now instant gratification you know no morals or principles just just through man you know 
And the things of this world that get glorified don't have any of those traits or characteristics. They don't have any traits of righteousness. You know, if you're a nigga like Trey Songs that can make a living off of being Mr. Steal Your Girl, that get glor that gets glorified in this country, in this in this place, in this world that Esau has been ruling over. All right, selling pills and weed that gets glorified. Wop that gets glorified. Verse 14, Isaiah 14 and 14 says, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. And see, he's ascended above the heights of the clouds in the space force. And look at what he's doing. This chief scientist is saying he, he wants human augmentation is next. And how do you think that human augmentation is going to start? He's going to have to put something that's not organic inside of you. Okay. He's going to have to put something electronic, something digital something that he can track in his system you know and in the in the, in the information age all right you got something called the internet of things which is basically every appliance every uh every uh every device is basically can be hooked up to the internet including light bulbs refrigerators you know air conditioning systems things that were just purely mechanical electrical are, are now can, can now be hooked up to the internet even cars now I mean the brothers were just talking about that even cars are now uh, are now jacked in to 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 can be to the internet all right with GPS you got autonomous vehicles see that's that's where he wants things to go because ultimately he's he's making this this entire place a giant boot camp you know a giant uh not boot camp, Salakia, uh, uh, concentration camp. And you idiots are too stupid to realize it. And by the time you do, it's going to be too late. Esau is going to have all the, all the military weapons, all the guns. You're, you're not going to know where any of the food is because you know, most people don't, they don't know where their food comes from. They don't know where the nearest farm is. They don't know where the nearest freshwater fish, uh, freshwater river or Creek or Lake is. They, they're lost through. And see, Esau has got most of you people, okay? But see, the elect are going to pull out of it, you know? And that's the positive uh, message in all of this, is that all of these terrible things are getting ready to befall this place, and the Most High is going to have mercy on his elect. So with that, hopefully our brothers were edified. Call Halal Yehawah Ba'ashim Yehawah Shai, Ba'ashim Rechakwadash, Ba'abah Babal Shalawam.